Hi, I'm Jesse with Mastercam. In this video, I want to show you some enhancements that have been made to drilling, which improve selection and visualization of your drilling operations. For this example, I'm going to be drilling a few holes in this aerospace latch assembly. On the Toolpath tab, I'll launch Drill, which will bring up the Toolpath Hole Definition dialog. I can select the solid face inside each of the bores, and Mastercam will automatically determine the hole axis and create the drilling positions. Once my holes have been selected, each hole is listed under Features, and some basic information is displayed about the geometry type of each hole and its diameter. Additionally, each hole is marked with a green arrow in the graphics window, which indicates which side of the hole the tool will enter from. If I was creating a simple three-axis drilling operation, these arrows would have no effect on the tool path, since the direction the holes are drilled from is controlled by the tool plane that is set in the tool path parameters. However, I'm going to create a multi-axis drilling operation, so I need to make sure these arrows are pointing in the correct directions. I can change the direction of any of these arrows by simply clicking on them. Having all this information readily available, as well as being able to control my whole axis direction so easily, is a game changer when I'm programming a part with hundreds of holes in it. Once I'm satisfied with my selection, I can close the Toolpath Hole Definition dialog, which will automatically launch the drilling parameters. On the tool page, I'm going to select a 3mm drill so that I can pilot drill each of the holes before bringing them to a final dimension in a later operation. On the Cut Parameters page, I'll select PEC Drill from the Cycle drop-down list. I'll set 3 mm for the first PEC distance, followed by 1 mm for the subsequent PECs. On the Tool Axis Control page, I'll set the output format to 5 axis, since the holes need to be drilled from more than one plane. Since I took the time to set the drilling direction for each of my holes when I selected them, I already know what to expect when I select 5 axis as the output format. If this were a 3 axis drilling operation that I wanted to convert to a 5 axis operation, I would want to make sure to review my geometry selections to make sure my drilling directions were correct. On the linking parameters page, there are two new checkboxes. At the top of the dialog, there's calculate incremental values from holes and lines. What this means is that the incremental values for clearance and retract are measured from the top of the hole geometry, while the depth is measured from the bottom of the hole geometry. At the bottom of the dialog, there's Calculate Depth from Top of Line or Hole. This checkbox lets us override where the depth value is calculated from. With this checked, the incremental value is now measured from the top of the hole instead of the bottom, which is very helpful for things like spot drilling multiple holes of varying depths at the same time. With these checkboxes set, I'll enter a depth of 20 millimeters and click OK to close the toolpath dialog. When the toolpath is done generating, I can launch Backplot. Prior to Mastercam 2020, there was no visible difference between a standard drilling operation and a PEC drilling operation when you reviewed them in Backplot. Starting in Mastercam 2020, each PEC of the drilling cycle is now simulated. By pressing the S and B keys on my keyboard, I can step forwards and backwards through Backplot allowing me to take a closer look at individual moves or motions.